Report. Tenth of Frostfall, 4th Era 201. I've arrived in this wretched land as per the request for aid filed by Her Excellence the First Emissary. Thus far, all seems to be as previous reports claimed. Ulfric's uprising has sown much chaos in the province, chaos that I have witnessed firsthand. I find it easy to use that growing unease to work rumours out of the mercenaries and innkeepers of the area. Included in this report is a summary of events, to the best of my knowledge, that have occurred between the Tenth of Hearthfire and the current date, as each pertains to certain individuals of interest operating in the province. First, the Enchanter. I have confirmed that he is indeed the one who put down Agents Ancano and Istormo. It seems he has taken over as Archmage of the College of Winterhold, though rumour has it that he is prone to long periods of absence. He has been seen wandering Skyrim by night in the company of an individual who matches given descriptions of the deserter and a woman of unknown origin. They appear to be operating out of solitude, though I cannot confirm this. If they were, surely our patrols would have spotted them by now. So far, his agenda remains unknown to me. I fear he may be operating by nightfall as a way of evading our gaze. However, if he is in fact associated with the deserter, perhaps his condition is indeed more grave than we expected. I am well aware of my orders concerning this individual, but if my assumption is correct, perhaps those orders should be adjusted. Still no word of the artifact that he and Don Kano removed from Sarthal, however. It may well remain at the college. I will have to see for myself. I have already mentioned the deserter, but he remains elusive, as always. The rumours persist of a one-eyed Bosmeri horseman, though most of them are weeks old. More often I hear the same tales of him in relation to the Enchanter, and begin to wonder if they perhaps have become allies. I've not heard new sightings of them for several days, but there have been other events going on that claimed my attention. Rest assured, I will be approaching the Dawn Guard, as instructed, in an effort to gain more information about his possible whereabouts. I have the utmost faith that the report from the late Justicia who captured him is correct, late though it was, and that his condition is indeed what she claimed it to be. It would certainly explain why he has thus far evaded our efforts. I will attempt to request aid from the Dawn Guard in this matter. Speaking of which, I have made contact with one of the survivors from the Falkreath incident. In my investigation at the House of Troubles, I turned up a spell-worked journal. A Book of Shadows by its Imperial name. It is still functional, and I have taken the liberty of using it. The other book is currently in the possession of the Dunmo with the tattoos that I read about in the incident report. She has agreed to meet me in Riften, and we may find ourselves allies in the Dawn Guard. I believe she may be a potential asset. Word of her dealings in Soul Slime have reached as far south as Iverstead. She appears to be an accomplished warrior and a mage. Unusual for one so young. She also has the makings of an excellent investigator. I'll be sure to approach her with the utmost caution. No word yet of the Nord who was with her, the one with the burned face. The Stunma may, however, have ties to the elderly Nord woman mentioned in the request for aid. I can confirm that the power this Nord has over the Forsworn consisted of heavy steel and a formidable strength. My sources indicate that she vanished for a time, only to return in Dawnstar on a ship from an isle north of Skyrim. Afterwards, not only was she seen in the company of the Companions in Whiterun, she seems to have been made their leader by whatever rights the Nords accomplished such a thing. They call her the Harbinger. Considering her strength, her prior actions, and her recent association with Ulfric Stormcloak, I would personally recommend keeping a close eye on her. She is exactly the kind of free agent we don't want interfering in Skyrim's delicate system right now. Speaking of free agents, I have managed to locate both of the Khajiit mentioned in the previous reports. 
I've not yet confirmed the girl's identity as the courier who went missing in the Gerald Mountains a few years ago, but I feel as though her previous escape is secondary in this matter. Word around Rifton claims that she is a prominent member of the Thieves Guild, though her newfound status as a Thane somewhat contradicts that. I will of course keep my ear to the ground in Rifton, lest she and her partner do anything more rash than a bit of banditry. It would have to be just an ear, however. Her speed and ability to evade tracking thus far outclass my ability to tail her. It would make it somewhat difficult to maintain knowledge of her whereabouts if not for the fact that her friend is bright blue. Thus far, I have followed them by way of story. This seems to be working quite well so far. Finally, the Dragonborn. The one that caused so much havoc at the Embassy. As I'm sure the First Emissary is already aware of the Peace Council at High Hrothgar, since she is attending it at the time of my writing this, I should perhaps explain what I've heard that led to this. She has been oddly difficult to track since, well, Red Guards are not in abundance in Skyrim, Red Guard mercenaries are, and the Nords often confuse various mercenaries for each other. Her coming and going from High Hrothgar has been relatively predictable, However, she was recently seen in association with both the Harbinger and the Archmage. Her allegiances confound me as much as they confound the Nords who have worked with her. Most troubling for me personally, however, is that she is rumored to carry the shield of one of the most infamous murderers in Tamriel's history, Pelinel Whitestrake. How she came by such an artifact is beyond me. The implications of her carrying it trouble me. If indeed all of these players are connected, I would advise taking action early before this game gets out of hand. However, with peace in place at least until the spring, I see that patience remains our best option. I have my orders, and shall continue on to the next phase as planned. For the glory of the Almeri Dominion.